Hey, Manny Talavera here. So we're now on day three of your marketing master class for carpet cleaners. Today is very exciting because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some review for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to talk about the, the, the products and services that we offer and some things that we can help you with. And then what I'm going to do after that is we're going to actually put on this whiteboard behind me essentially a one-year marketing plan and I'm going to show you how to develop that and then we're also going to show you how to develop a month-to-month -month marketing calendar where you can actually every single month you can start working with some of these marketing weapons we're going to talk about here and you can determine whether they work for you and if they work for you you can continue to add them every month and if they don't work for you you can essentially take them off of your list I can tell you right now our system actually shows you 43 different marketing weapons and I think around 25 of those are free and around 15 to 17 are one-time marketing weapons which means if you do it once you've, you've pretty much got it set up like uh, the perfect example is a unique selling proposition if you create a unique selling proposition for your business Later on, you might have to change that one more time, but generally, once you get that in place, as long as it's res resonating with the marketplace and it's bringing you traffic, you're going to pretty much have that set up. So, like I said, the last part of this, we're going to show you how to actually, you know, implement a marketing plan, create create a basically one a one year goal, and show you what that looks like, and then essentially show you how to build that month to month. So, for the last couple of days here we've been taking you through a series of things and the first thing that I took you through and the thing that I came back to over and over and over again are the five ways to grow a business you are not in the carpet cleaning business you're in the business of marketing carpet cleaning services and there are five ways to do that the first way is to increase leads and increasing leads is about getting people to raise their hand up and express interest in what it is you're doing the second way is to increase conversions increasing conversions is selling to more of those people who raise their hand the third thing that we talked about a lot yesterday is increasing that average transaction and we increase the average transaction by giving your, your, your client opportunities to upgrade at the point of sale by giving them three different options by having a conversation with the customer prior to actually starting the carpet cleaning by finding out what their needs are that is the way that you uh, you, you increase your average ticket and the, the other way you increase your average ticket is you create a unique selling proposition that focuses your market away from price and what it is that you do the next thing we talked about is increasing frequency of purchase and increasing frequency of purchase is all about getting in that home more often if you have a thousand people in your database and you're getting in that home one time a year if we can actually get you in that house twice a year you double your revenue without putting more leads in more leads into the process without getting one new customer you can double your business and by the way you know that increasing average transaction you can double your revenue right there and I can tell you you all need to quit advertising low prices you need to quit marketing against people who do not express you know pride in their work and they're just in there to, to make a quick buck you need to focus on raising that average ticket up so like I said frequency of purchase we're gonna get in that home two or three times a year and the last thing that we talked about was lifetime value lifetime value is all about getting that person who would buy from you once or twice to buy for, from you for seven years and we talked about the fact that if they buy twice a year for seven years you've got 14 carpet cleanings in in that in that process and every person in your database is going to be worth way 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 more money the lifetime value of your business is where all of the money is increasing leads and increasing conversions will bring you cash flow increasing lifetime value will build you a brand it will build you a company that you can take and sell later on and I'll, let me explain what lifetime value looks like lifetime value is all about like I said getting that person to buy for three to five years so let's say your average transaction is two hundred and fifty dollars 
and the person is buying from you for five years, if they're only buying once from you, your average client is going to be worth $1,250. If they're buying twice from you, now your average client, the lifetime value of your client is $2,500. And you really want to be thinking about, what is the lifetime value of my client? What is that client really worth to me? I'm going to give you a really, really good example of this. You're probably familiar with the company Guthy Rinker. Guthy Rinker is, they, they sell on, on TV, they sell on infomercials. And they sell a product called Proactive Solution. They're, the cost to actually get someone to buy the first time is $40. And they spend $40 to get someone to buy on a transaction that is $20. So what you want to think about here is they spend $40 to get someone to make a $20 purchase. They lose $20 on the first sale. But the reason they are able to do that is the person who buys once buys nine times. So you figure it costs $40 the first sale. The person buys a total of nine times. Nine times 20 is 180. So their cost to actually get that customer is 40 and their gross profit is $140 on that customer. They get $140 every time someone buys and I can tell you, Guthy Rinker is a multi-billion dollar corporation. You need to think about your business the exact same way. What is it costing you per lead? What is it costing per, you per new sale? If you're running that Valpac ad and you're spending $1,000 and you get 10 new people to buy and they only spend $100 with you, what does that mean? That means you break even on the front end. That means it costs you $1,000 to get these 10 new customers. That means your cost per new customer, not cost per lead, but cost per sale is $100. But what happens, you break even on the first sale and the next nine or 10 sales, you make a lot of money. What we are doing here is we are buying the customer. What you wanna be focusing on, how much does it cost per lead and how much does it cost per sale? I can tell you the other thing you wanna think about here. Quit spending money on ineffective advertising and marketing. If it's not producing a result, then don't do it. Like you do not want to lose thousands of dollars and you, you, you see a lot of people sell display advertising and they spe sell uh, magazine advertising and what they say is you need to get your name out there and you just need to keep, keep doing it and eventually it will work. Let me tell you something, that's not how we play the game. That's not it. That's how McDonald's plays the game. They're spending money on brand advertising so they can waste money. But you cannot afford to do that. You want to focus on direct response advertising and direct response advertising is put a mess, putting a message out there in the marketplace that resonates with a person and gets that person to want to buy from you. And that's what you want to think about. So the other thing that you want to think about is let's say you're spending $2,500 a year and you're, it's not producing a result for you. Well, what's great about it is when you get this product here, when you get, get the business navigation for carpet cleaners, there are 43 different things in here that you can do to increase your business. What you can now do is take that $2,500 that you're spending that is not working and you can essentially start spending that money on marketing weapons that works. And so what we teach people to do is how to be really, really effective marketers. You know, Randy's 30 years in this game. And you know, when Randy and I got together and started talking about this, I mean, this was all Randy's idea. You need to thank him for this. I mean, we, we went back and forth for a while and Randy said, you know, I just want to create something that will help people to market and run their businesses better and that's the reason we ended up creating the business navigation and I'll talk to, talk about that a little bit more here as we're going along but what you want to think about again take the money that you're spending on ineffective advertising spend that on marketing and advertising that works so I'm going to talk about the business navigation for carpet cleaners for just a few minutes first of all $97 free shipping anywhere in the US this has 43 marketing weapons that are essentially plug and play and what I mean by that 43 marketing weapons tomorrow you can take this product you can start testing marketing I'm not telling you 
to do 43 different things. What I am telling you is to test the different things that are in this product or different things that you come up with in your marketplace. What you're going to find is some things are going to work and some things are not going to work. And what you want to do is you want to understand, you want to measure everything. You, the, the key to everything that we're talking about here is measurement. That's it. If the marketing is working, if it's producing a measurable, measurable result, we keep doing it. And if it's not producing a measure, measurable result, we quit. So I'm going to talk about some of the marketing weapons in here. So how many of you, of you are doing flyer advertising? You know, so we're going to do some flyer advertising this month. How, how much traffic did we get from that? Are you doing door-to-door -door canvassing? If you're new to the industry, go to an area that you want to work in, knock on doors, introduce yourself, be ever-present in that marketplace, be driving your van up and down those roads so people start resonate, resonating with who you are. So we do do flyer advertising. We do door-to-door -door canvassing. You might be doing some door hangers. You might be, be actually passing out business cards everywhere you go. Do you have a database? Are you actually communicating with that database? Now we're going to talk about the simple letter writing system. This is the thing we talked about yesterday. But if you have a database, everything is based on all of those people in your database who are going to buy from you over and over again. But what you have to do is you have to communicate with them. You need to do database marketing. I can tell you right now, database marketing is the cornerstone to your business. The job, your job is very simply to get as many people buying from you as possible, put those people into a system of marketing, and constantly follow up with those people. And how we do that is we, get, we give them a call and thank them for buying. We send out a thank you letter. We send out a 30-day, a 60-day, a 90-day letter. We've got a six-month letter in here. We've got a we want you back letter. You've got people in your database. You haven't communicated with them. They haven't bought in nine months. Let's send those people a we want you back letter. So let's keep going over this. i got a question. What does your van look like? Do you have a wrap on your van? Is your van clearly marked with all of your logo and your signatures and everything that tells them who you are and what you do? You need that. That is a rolling billboard. It's a one-time marketing weapon. You create that van and you make it really neat and clean and you have your logo on the front, on the back, on, on both sides, on the front and the back. You need your number clearly visible to the marketplace. And like I said, you decide you're going to work in an area, you're going to pursue that area. You're going to drive up and down those streets. What about community-based and cause-based marketing? What groups can you get involved in that's going to get you in the newspaper a lot? What can you do to promote your business while promoting other people and helping other people. You want to look at spending money in the community that you serve. Community-based marketing, giving back to the community, community, and that is in here. We're going over the marketing weapons that are in this program that Randy and I developed. What you need to understand is this. You clean someone's carpet. You, you market or advertise to someone who raised their hand and then bought. It costs you a lot of money to get that person to buy from you. You cannot leave it to chance and just hope those people call you again. You need a system of marketing. And the reason for that is because if you don't have a system of marketing, you're relying on hope. And you invested $50 or $75 or $100 to get this person to buy the first time. And now you're just hoping they buy from you again. The problem is they might not need their carpets clean for six or nine months. So what, what will happen here is if you, they hire you six or nine months down the road, if you're not communicating with those people, they have forgot who you are. What you want is top of mind awareness within the marketplace. And you develop top of mind awareness within the marketplace by having a nice, neat, clean, uniform appearance with a shirt that has your logo on it and a name badge. And you look that way every time they see you. You knock on the door, you, 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 you do a carpet audit with them, you explain what, the, you, you ask them what their biggest issues are, and you have a conversation out with them, and you find out what their needs are. And no one is doing this stuff. So you find out what their needs are, you give them options 
three different options, and then you suggest what you feel that they should need based on the quality and the situation with their carpet right now. A lot of times, because you're the expert, they're going to listen to you. So you're going to have a basic, better, and a best, a, a bronze, silver, and gold. You're going to give them options. You're going to give them a suggestion. You're going to say, Mrs. Smith, it's your carpet. We have three different price points here, and we're happy to do any job that you want here. Just tell us what you feel you're comfortable with, and we're going to get to work on your carpet. And let them pick. Remember, your basic service, at least 25% more than you're charging now. Your better service, at least 40 to 50% more than you're charging now. And your best service, twice what you're charging now. And I'm going to tell you, 15% of your marketplace is rich. They will spend as much money as you ask for. And if you, if you work through this, what you will be surprised at you'll be amazed at how how many places you will go and you will have this idea in your mind that these people are broke they cannot afford to spend that much money you will give them three options and they will take the third option about every time because we in our mind tend to assume people have less money than they have and I can tell you you're going to be very surprised you go in 20 homes and you make that offer basic better and best what will happen is you'll be shocked how many times people take that third option and you assume they barely had the money to pay for the first one and so you need to understand that marketing is a system. Marketing starts when we get the customer and it never ends. We are continually following up. The reason you want a system of follow-up is because, remember, we want to build top-of-mind awareness in the marketplace. Now think about it. You went in, you did the, the inspection, you did the audit, you gave these people options, you did a great job. You did a post inspection where you showed them how you got these stains out and you also point out the free things that you did like you wiped the baseboard down or the ceiling fans down or the vents down. You explain that, you ask for a few referrals and then you follow up with a phone call or you follow up with a thank you letter and I can tell you, you are going 10 miles more than anyone else in your competition is going. And again, I'm telling you, we got two, two opportunities here for you. And I, even if you don't buy anything from us, you can take what I'm telling you in this video. You can create your own system. I mean, I, look at what we went over. We went over flyer advertising. We, we went over Money Miller and Valpac. We went over passing out. Uh, we went over door-to-door -door canvassing. Uh, we talked about opportunities to upgrade. We've talked about creating a USP. And we're basically giving you the farm here. You, you don't need to buy from us because we're laying it out. The problem is this product is five hours and it covers 43 different things. And there's no way I could cover 43 different things in a 20 or 30 minute video. And that's the reason we are making these opportunities for you. So I'm going to go over this with you. This is the business navigation for carpet cleaners. It's six CDs. And this has 43 plug and play marketing weapons that you can use to essentially double or triple your business in the next 180 to 360 days. In my opinion, if you get this system and you start using it, you should see results in 60 to 90 days. This is $97 with free shipping. You get one new customer from this. You make money. If you get one new customer from this that buys five times, you're going to get a 10x return on your money. And I can tell you, 43 marketing weapons, in my opinion, there's no way that you can't get 10 to 15 new clients from this. Because what's going to happen is you're going to build a system of marketing into your business. You're going to build a system of marketing and you're going to start doing things automatically 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You're going to have a flyer system. You know, we talk about flyers. We haven't even got into flyers yet. There's one thing. Passing flyers out is one thing. But what about if you have three different people passing flyers out for you? for free and they're passing out thousands of flyers a week and we talk about how to do that. 
in this system. We talk about how to work with other carpet cleaners and get business from other carpet cleaners. I take you through a system in here on how to actually take over a person's carpet cleaning business for free. Get the whole thing for free. They just hand it to you. I talk about that in this system. There's just an abundance of content and Randy delivers a lot about you know how to actually build that marketing plan and he talks about you know how to how to build your business long term understand how much money you're making on each sale he's really a technician about what what it go, what goes into actually cleaning someone's carpet and how much that costs he talks a lot about that there but again like I said $97 with free shipping and we're we're limiting this to 50 of these and the reason I'm limiting it to 50 Randy's going to be taking off to Vegas in a few weeks I have three other projects I'm working on and I'm about to do a launch in another industry Randy and I both also do one-on-one -on -one coaching and if you're interested in working with either of us one-on-one -on -one, you can send us a private message in the business navigation for carpet cleaners we have a private group you want to jump in that group because there we got 600 members in there and you can ask us any questions you have about what we've covered in these videos or what's on these products. But like I said, if you're looking for some ongoing coaching, definitely reach out. Randy and I are both, both available. I can tell you, I only work with about two or three carpet cleaners at a time because as a rule, I only take about 10 clients. And right now I've got quite a few. And Randy's the same way. But I think Randy takes on a few, few more clients than me. So you might, like I said, reach out. The other thing that we're offering you today is the simple letter writing system for carpet cleaners and the simple letter writing system for carpet cleaners is 20 plug and play letters to, to, to grow your carpet cleaning business a thank you letter a 30 day letter a 60 day letter a 90 day letter a 180 day letter a spring cleaning letter a we want you back letter a follow-up letter you you haven't heard from them for nine months let's send them that we want you back letter tell them how we appreciate them as a customer 20 letters there's some commercials letters in here so if you want to do work with real estate agents if you want to do work with apartment apartment owners those letters are in here and you can use these to essentially start getting that type of commercial work but the main thing here is a system of marketing these letters are 100 percent customizable they come on a cd-rom and they are a word document so you take the letters you put them on your computer and you customize them you can reword them you put your logo on the letter you put your pricing on the letter you put your name and your phone number on the letter and within five minutes the great thing about this within five minutes you can actually create a letter and you can actually start sending these out and i can tell you if things are slow right now if you are trying to figure out how to grow this thing you, you got a hundred or two hundred people in your database you've never communicated with them get the letter writing system send out some letters to those people who bought from you in the past and just say look you know you, you, you bought from us a few months ago we're sending out sending out this letter to you we appreciate you as a customer just sending out this letter to see if there's anything else we can do for you you will pick up clients as a matter of fact you got 500 people in your database do not send out 500 letters I mean if the phone rings 50 times can you handle handle 50 carpet cleaning jobs in a week you can't do that what you want to do is have a system where you send out 50 or 100 letters this week let's wait and see how much the phone rings then we're going to send 50 or 100 letters out next week and you just put this on a system where every week you're sending out some letters and what happens is you're building top of mind awareness within the marketplace who are they going to call when they need their carpets clean you you did a great job you followed up by phone you send them letters every once in a while telling them how, how you appreciate them as a, as a customer who are they going to call when they need service who are they going to refer people to they're going to refer people to you because you're building top of mind awareness within the marketplace again this is $79.95 you get one new job from it pays for itself 
and you're going to have money left over. If you get five new jobs or ten new jobs, you're going to basically have a multiple return on your investment. If you happen to buy both of these, what you're looking at is a total of $180. And I'll tell you right now, if, if you actually end up buying both of them, well, well, Randy and I will come up with something very special to do for you. We will either put you all on a webinar or we will do a one-on-one -on -one cons consultation with you for free. We'll get you on the phone and work with you for 20 minutes or so. We had to iron that out because I really hadn't thought about it, but if you end up buying both of these, I can tell you, we will take care of you. And by the way, you buy either of these, you have any questions at all, there's an opportunity in that private Facebook group. You can send us instant messages. You can post questions in that group and we will get back to you. And again, only 50 of these available. Randy and I are extremely busy and I want to create a situation where we sell these and I can get them all fulfilled in one day. So that's kind of where we're at. So what I want to do here, just real quickly, I want to thank you all for watching the video. Our, our goal here is to help you to develop a six-figure business. I can tell you this system here, six steps to six figures. The business navigation for carpet cleaners is six steps to six figures and we go over six steps in detail. I'm showing you right here the five ways to grow a business. If you get up every day and just focus on these things, you cannot lose. And Randy and I, what we want to do is we want to see you all succeed instead of struggle. Uh, create a business that you can later on sell as an asset for a lot of money and we talk about that in there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to change gears. I'm going to build a market, a one-year marketing plan for you. I'm going to show you what that looks like pretty much. Just basically creating your goals and what that looks like and then we're going to show you how to build a month-to-month -month marketing plan even if you don't use the system we have. And by the way, the bonus the bonus in this product, either product that you buy, the business navigation for carpet cleaners, it's called the, the, uh, the printable marketing plan and action guide is basically the thing that I'm going to show you here and it includes the 43 marketing weapons. So if you buy this, you get the marketing weapon and action guide. If you buy this, you get the marketing weapon and action guide and it's a bonus and what it is, it's a template. By the way, it's also a printable Word document. So you're going to be able to take what we're showing you here on the board, you're going to be able to print all of that out and you're going to be able to put that, basically create a one-year marketing plan, print it out and month to month be able to basically grade what you're doing. And we're going to go over that here in a few minutes. So we're going to start doing that now. So what I'm going to do for the next few minutes, I'm going to actually show you all how to build a marketing plan from scratch. This is a one-year marketing plan and this is very simple. Now remember, this is a template that you get for free if you buy either the simple letter writing system or the business navigation for carpet cleaners. This is actually a template that you can actually print out and then you can create something that you're going to be able to build. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through a one-year marketing plan and then what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through a monthly plan to actually make sure you hit these numbers. Now the first thing we have here is a marketing plan for January 1st through December 31st. The first thing you want to look at is your dollar goal. So we've got a dollar goal here of $100,000. What you want to be thinking about here is what is your average ticket going to be? If your average ticket is $200, how many jobs do you need to make the $100,000? Well, what we have here is 500 jobs. So if you want to make $100,000 and your average ticket is $200, you're going to need 500 jobs. Now this is the thing. In this, in this template, we actually have a formula that shows you exactly what it's going to take you to hit your goals. Say your, say your average ticket is $500, you're going to need 200 jobs. If your average ticket was $1,000, you would need 100 jobs. And we actually take you through that and there's a template so you can actually figure that out. But what you want to do here temporarily, even if you're not take, buying our system, you can do the math. So you've got your average, your, the amount of money you want to make, you've got the average ticket, and if you don't know your average ticket, all you need to do is go and add up your receipts for like 30 days 
divide them by the amount of tickets that you got and that's going to probably give you about the average ticket and most of you all probably already know uh, pretty much what your average ticket is anyway so what we've got here is your average ticket of two hundred dollars and that's five hundred jo jobs now the next line here is very interesting the next line here we've got is past customers what you want to be thinking about we've talked about this the whole time is building a database of people who are going to buy from you over and over again so we're at the beginning of the year you need 500 jobs to hit your goal how many people who bought from you last year are likely to buy from you this year what we would call this is future bank so how many people in your database are actually going to buy from you this year now what I've got here is 50 so what you can do is you can take a look at how many people you have in your database and, and think about how many of those are likely to buy from you again and some of you all have an idea if you're new in business you're not going to know these two numbers that's okay though what you want to be thinking about is building that database of people who can buy from you over and over again so we're going to walk you through this you want to make a hundred thousand a year your average ticket is two hundred you're going to need five hundred to clean 500 carpets if you got 50 people in your database who bought from you last year you're going to need 450 new carpet cleaning jobs that means what we're doing is we're doing 500 jobs but we're marketing we're actually spending the money to actually get 450 I want you to think about something if every year you put 50 people into your database who would buy from you over and over again in five years you would have 250 jobs in the bank if, you're, if your total jobs is 500 you got 250 in the bank you're only marketing to pick up 250 new jobs but we're going to move forward here so you need 450 new jobs now this is total jobs this is the total amount of jobs you're going to do for the year if you're going to do 500 to hit your goals that's going to be 10 jobs per week or it's going to be right around 41 jobs per month so what I'm going to do I'm just going to review this real quick and then what we're going to do is we're going to show you from this thing how you take this and actually make a monthly marketing plan so very simply create your dollar goal once you create your dollar goal put down your average ticket you know how much your average ticket is you divide this number to this number and you're going to end up with this number you're going to end up with your the, the total jobs that you need if you know how many people are likely to buy again you can deduct that from your marketing so if you need 500 jobs and you got 50 in the bank you're only going to need 450 new jobs and again the number at the bottom here total per week and total per month this is the amount of jobs you're going to be doing so if you've got 500 jobs in your data bet that you need to do that would be 10 per week and it would be 41 per month now before we move on I want you to think about can you do 10 jobs per week and 41 41 per month that's what you want to be thinking about when you're creating these goals because this is the thing you know if your average ticket is only hundred dollars it's not likely you're going to be able to do a thousand jobs I mean that's a lot of work that's that that's twice what we've got on this board here so what you want to be thinking about pushing that average ticket up to 200 250 300 dollars because if we can get that average ticket say to 400 if your your goals are 100,000 your average ticket is 400 you only need 250 jobs to do that but what we're going to do now is we're going to switch gears and we're going to actually show you what a mo monthly marketing plan looks like so what we were talking about was a one year marketing plan and we went over what it would take for you to reach your goals for the year now what we created here is a monthly marketing plan we've got the month of January 2016 and we've taken your $100,000 goal and divided that by 12 so you're looking at $8,400 for the month of January your average ticket is 200 so what you're going to need there is you're going to need 42, 42 jobs to reach your $8,400 goal for January remember we talked earlier we have five customers who are in the bank these are five people who are likely to already buy from us who are in our database already and we, we talked about that earlier and your goal here if you continue to put people in your database this number every single month is ultimately going to go up and your goal is basically is create a situation where you have so many people in your database you're only needing to market 
to replace the few people who move. But right now we have five people in our database who are likely to buy. The amount of new jobs we need is 37 and that's what this marketing plan is going to be for because we need 37 new jobs from this marketing we're going to do down here. The total jobs per week of course is 10.5 but we're going to round that up to 11. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build a marketing plan. We're, this is the marketing weapons that we're going to use to bring in this $8,400. We're going to try some flyer advertising. We're going to do some door-to-door -door canvassing. We're going to do some direct mail. And the direct mail is sending out of the letters. Whether you use this system or another system, the direct mail is actually sending out letters to the people in your database who could buy from you over and over again. So we're going to do some direct mail. And the fourth thing we're going to do is we're going to do some community-based marketing. Now this is the thing. I've only got four things on this board. When you get the template that's included with this, you get, you get all of this, but you actually have space for eight marketing weapons. So you can be as aggressive as you want to be. And this template includes the 43 marketing weapons. So you're going to have 43 things to choose from, plus the things that you're already doing in your marketing. So what we have here, we have four different marketing weapons. You could be very, very aggressive, and you could put eight in there. And the only th the last thing I'm going to go over before we, we actually change gears here is your dollar goal for the month is $8,400 here. What you want to be thinking about is if your goal is $100,000 for the year, you do want to be thinking about what months you're busier and what months you're slower. And you can generally go back and look at all of that, and what we can do is some forecasting. So your actual goal in January might only be... $6,400. Your goal in February might be $10,400 because you're slower one month and busier one month. But what we're, And what we're talking about here again is forecasting and then like I said the numbers are all going to, to, to be basically the same. Your average ticket is going to be $200 and essentially your your five customers might change. It might go up a little bit or down a little bit depending on what your goals are for the month. But what I'm showing you here is how to build a one month marketing plan. So you start with your dollar goal, you determine what your average ticket is, how many jobs do we need for the month, how many customers are in the bank, how many customers do we need after we subtract the ones in the bank, the total jobs needed, and then this is where the rubber meets the road, your marketing plan. What are we going to do to bring the $8,400 in? So what we've done now is we went over two things. The first thing that we did is we created a one-year marketing plan. How much money do we want to make per month, per, per year? How many jobs is that going to be per month? How many people do we need to buy from us? How many new customers we have to bring in? How many old customers in the database? That was the first part of this. The second part is we created a one month marketing plan for January. The third thing that you're going to do, and this template is included, is we're going to grade our marketing for January. So what you're going to do in February is you're going to take a look at what happened in the previous month. And we're going to give those marketing uh, weapons that we use, we're going to give them a grade. So I'm going to actually walk you through what this might look like. So our dollar goal was $8,400. Our income was $9,600. So we surpassed our do dollar goal. Now let's take a look at our new customers. We needed 37 new customers and we got 40 new customers. And our past customers, we estimated that five people in the, from our past would buy and we actually got eight. So those, everything that we did here was good. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at the marketing that we did and we're going to give it a grade. The first thing that we're going to look at here is the direct mail. Remember the direct mail, we were sending out the letters to get, to get past customers to rebuy. Instead of getting five there, we got eight. So our direct mail, we're going to give an A. We did some community-based marketing, and that did very well, and we give that a B. We did some door-to-door -door canvassing, and we give that a B. And we did some flyer ads, 
And those did okay as well. We give them a C, but they didn't do as well as the other marketing that we did. And ultimately, the great thing about this is if you want, you can actually put down where all of these 48 jobs, 40 jobs came from. And the A, we know where the A came from. So you have 40 new jobs that you got. You could actually document where most of them came from on this board. The main thing here is this. Let's say you were doing flyer ads and you didn't get any traffic from that. Well, that might not get a passing grade. But what, what I want you to think about and as we're moving forward here is this. If you did this every month for 24 months and you continually tested different marketing weapons, what you would find is you would find the five to seven or 10 that work really well in your marketplace and you would find the things that don't work well and you would quit doing those. Remember, we spend money on marketing, we want to return on our, our investment. So what I want you to think about here is it's not about creating a marketing want plan, it's about creating a marketing plan and then grading those marketing weapons that we use. And again, the, the template here that you're looking at is included in the system. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, just do some quick review here. I really appreciate you all taking a look at the video today. Very simply, the key to your success in this business is building a database of people who are going to buy from you over and over again. The key to doing that is creating a system of marketing and also constantly communicating with your marketplace. You know, we talked about two different resources. We talked about the simple letter writing system for carpet cleaners. That is $79.95 and we also talked about the business navigation for carpet cleaners and that is six steps to six figures. We're talking about four marketing weapons but these actually have 43 marketing weapons within these. So there's 43 marketing weapons within this and if you buy either of these you get the bonus which is the do-it-yourself marketing guide as a template and it also includes those 43 marketing weapons. The great thing it's a Word document. You can go in and print it out. So like I said, if this is something you're interested in, we're limiting each of these to 50, go ahead and click the Buy It Now button. If you have any questions at all, you can ask questions in the, the Business Navigation for Carpet Cleaners group. We've got a private Facebook group with about 600 people in it, and Randy and I are in there to answer your questions. But we do appreciate your taking a look at our video today, and thanks a lot.